An identity matrix is a kind of spatial matrix whose elements of principal diagonals are 1 and all the other elements are 0. Hello and welcome to Knowledge Circle everyone. Today we will see a Java program based on identity matrix. An identity matrix has to be a square matrix. As you can see here in this picture, this is a principal diagonal and what we observe from the indices of the principal diagonals elements that the indices of row and column is same. So we are going to make a program in Java where we will accept a matrix from user and we will check whether it is an identity matrix or not. So let's begin the program. So we'll create the class with the name IM. Already few lines are already written. So here let's finish this particular line. Scanner OB new scanner system dot in. This is the object of scanner class so that we can take input from user. We'll give a message to the user here to enter the number of rows and columns for the matrix. Okay, so we are going to accept rows and columns for the matrix. Remember it, an identity matrix has to be a square matrix. User will enter the value after uh, seeing this message. So we have to accept two values, first row and second column. So I have declared a variable r to store the number of rows and uh, second intc to store the number of columns. As we have discussed that an identity matrix has to be a square matrix. Okay, after getting the value of R and C, we'll declare a double dimensional array here, int m and then uh, square bracket two times, assignment operator, new keyword, data type and R and C row and column. I have declared here two variables for counter C1 and C2, which I have initialized with zero. See, as we have discussed that identity matrix has to be a square matrix. That's why I have checked the condition in the beginning. If R and C both are equal, then only we will do the rest of the process. If R and C are not equal, means the value of rows and columns given by the user is different, then these things will not be checked. Directly a message will be displayed that the matrix has to be a square. Now, if it is true, if R and C is equal, then we'll provide again a, a message to the user to enter the elements of matrix and to get the matrix elements will run nested loop and that will be from zero to less than the number of rows and second loop will be less the, uh, from zero to less than the column. Now I have uh, got the input, input work is done. What I did, I just copied the code and I'm just modifying it to display whatever the input is taken from user, we'll just modify it and we'll display it. Whatever the input is given by user, we will display properly in a matrix format. So some modifications I'm doing here uh, in the nested loop, in the second loop, we are writing here system.out.print mij. And now what I will do, I'll just copy this and I'll paste in the outer loop and I'll just write here println. And uh, this is how we can display the matrix given by the user. Now the matrix is displayed. It's time to check whether it is an identity matrix or not. As I uh, have said in the beginning only that the principal diagonal has to be one and rest other has to be what? Zero. So what I'm checking here, running the nested loop, if i is equal to j. If i is equal to j, it means if it is a principal element, then I'm looking for a value which is not one. I'm looking for a value which is not one. And if it is true, increase the value of C1 by 1, C1 plus plus. Same thing I am doing for uh, the other elements which are not equal to J. I is not equal to J means the remaining elements other than the principal diagonal. And I am looking for what if these values are not equal to 0, then C2 plus plus. Okay. And uh, what we will do that here again, one more condition. If C1 and C2 remains zero, it means that it's an identity matrix because we are looking for, in principal diagonal, we are looking for uh, not having one and in uh, other values, we are looking not zero. So that's why I have taken here C1 and C2. If C1 and C2 remain zero, it's an identity matrix, else it's not an identity matrix. So we'll close here this uh, if, and now we'll write the else for the if which we have started in the beginning 
if r and c is not equal then we'll display a message here it should be a square matrix okay and uh, with this uh, our program gets completed now we will close what main function and uh, then we will close class we'll click on compile button no syntax errors right click void main okay enter the number of rows and columns i have entered here three three so let's enter the elements of matrix i'm entering the value one zero 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 one zero 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 one the mat entered matrix is this and it's an identity matrix so uh, we'll clear it and uh, we'll uh, recompile the program and we'll give something different value like three four and three and four are not equal so message will be it should be a square matrix